Living near flying foxes can be difficult. They can be noisy and smelly and you have to deal with their droppings. In this video, we're gonna bust some bat poo myths and we're gonna show you how to get rid of the poo if it ends up on some of your belongings. It's important to know there's no evidence that you can catch lysivirus, hendrovirus, or any other serious disease from being exposed to the flying fox poo. However, you should protect yourself when dealing with any wildlife poo. Gloves, glasses, long sleeves, and long pants are the smart option, even a mask if the poo is dried out. Many people think that flying fox poo is acidic and can eat into surfaces. We put four different types of poo to the test to see exactly how acidic they are. In an acidity test, seven is neutral, and the smaller the number, the higher the acidity. You can see here that the bird poo is the most acidic. The duck and the microbat is about neutral, and the flying fox poo is neutral or alkaline. The main diet of a flying fox is nectar, pollen and fruit, and their poo changes a lot depending on what they've eaten. Eucalypt nectar tends to make the poo dark and sticky. Fig poos are drier and seedy looking. Cocos palms are quite yellow and fibrous. And if the flying fox has eaten dark berries like mulberries, their poo is more likely to stain. Here's some tips for keeping your belongings clean if you live near a flying fox camp. Flying foxes leave their camp at dusk and return at dawn. So this is when you're most likely to be pooped on. Where possible, move your belongings undercover or shield them with a washable layer, like a sheet or a tarp overnight. Bring your washing in off the line before dusk. Discourage bats from feeding in your garden by removing the flowers and fruits or netting your flowering and fruiting trees. You should use a bird-friendly netting which is small enough that you can't get your fingers through it. The quicker you wash the poo off, the easier it is to remove. Hosing off your things in the early morning will save you time and trouble later. If there's any poo left on your belongings, try washing with soap and water or a soaking with a damp cloth. Avoid scraping or chipping dried flying fox poo off house paint or car juco to prevent any permanent damage. For more cleaning tips and info about flying fox poo, head to the link below.